If we look on an aggregate basis, the banks have increased their headline earnings by, by 8.5%. Clearly there were nuances in, in different banks reporting different numbers, but as the industry as a whole for the last four, that's very positive. Um, where did that growth come from? From non-interest income and interest income growth um, being more than, than their, um, their operating expense growth. Interest income growth really coming from, from um, repricing of, 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 of loan products, the endowment effect, because we've had a, a larger or an increase in, in interest rates during the period, or not during the period, in the previous period, which has is, which is benefited the banks. Um, and then non-interest income, that's the fee and commission that, that, that uh, customers pay on transactions, and um, we've seen volumes still, still increasing there, and, and those have been, been increased. And then OPEX has been maintained at um, just above inflation levels. South Africa can't be looked at in isolation. So you look at the, the US and it talks about US interest rate hikes. That, that has a direct impact on our, on our currency, which has an impact again on, on, on inflation. We've had commodity prices in the last um, quarter of last year um, decreasing significantly. Um, if we look at where oil is, coal, um, iron ore, our banks operate in those, those, those economies. They also lend into those economies, so that's, that's got a big impact.